Hey guys, this is the Basic Builder back with another Valheim video. This time I'm kind of mixing it up and going to build it in real time. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy it. If you do enjoy this style of video, please let me know down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's kind of get started with my thinking process. So, today's video is going to be a small starter home, I guess you could call it. I chose a little spot here in the meadows, uh, surrounded by water right here on this little peninsula, and I thought, you know, good little spot for a small starter home. So, first thing we're going to do is come in and start leveling out the land. Uh, it's always good when you're first starting out the game to have a flat level surface uh, to, to start up on, and from there then we can kind of adjust the, um, the heights and all that of the build. So that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to start right here uh so i am in creative mode um uh, but you know you can easily build this in um uh, survival mode as well i have played this game multiple times now in survival mode and uh, I, again i just enjoy building in uh creative mode so what i'm doing here you can see i'm taking out this hill just a little bit uh, just to lower it down and you know I'll come back in grab the hoe here and we'll just level out the land a little bit um, so I've been wanting to do this style of video for a while now and I thought why not go ahead and do that so uh, this looks like a pretty good size uh, so what we're going to do now is start with the foundation so um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some small wood beam uh, vertical. We're going to rotate it and let's come out here. Let's bring in that. Let's go two here. I'm going to support it. Uh, I do like to throw in some different angles and stuff like that. So let's give a little bit of a jut out here and maybe we'll make this a front porch right here um, so I am building this completely from my head uh, there is no blueprints uh, that I am using no inspiration really that I'm using other than the fact that I want to come in and kind of do like a live uh, style video for you all so that's exactly what we're gonna do um, Let's go ahead and continue. Maybe we're gonna make this a small front porch. We'll put a door in right there. So let's close that off. We'll put some stairs in uh, right here. Perfect. Uh, we'll come back in and fill that in. So next, what we're going to do is let's bring it off with one more right there. That's good. And. Um, Go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. So we'll continue on with the foundation. Uh, again, try not to make it too big of a build. Uh, but, you know, something that's got some good look to it, I think, is really what I'm trying to shoot for here. So um, I like that. Let's go ahead and bring that out one more, and let's put that in. Um, what I've done in the past, and I can't tell if that's really sitting on the ground or not, but what you can do if you're struggling a little bit for it to connect, and you don't know, is to take a piece like that, and now you're sure that that long piece is actually fitting in. So you tag it in onto the side of the build, or on the side of the uh, log, and again, I'm going to do it here and make sure I get it there and make sure I get it there. What that's doing is ensuring that you're in contact with the ground. Uh, have it been in contact with the ground is going to be key to ensuring that your foundation is, in fact, uh, touching the ground. <laughs> so, um, okay, so... What we'll do, maybe we'll make that the fireplace over there. I think that's a good idea. Um, 
We'll do a fireplace there. I don't know if we should do it in stone or not, but you can see there that piece was not touching the ground. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to continue supporting that. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is jump on in and let's put some flooring down. Uh, and we'll make this fast. My goal is to try to have this built to maybe a 30 minute build. I think that's reasonable. Um, where did that piece go? Getting a little ahead of myself there, but that's okay. Um, so I picked this spot because I like building around the water and just building around the water really adds, I would say more life to your builds other than like being in the mountains or in the black forest on the edge of the mountains. Um, I do enjoy building there as well. So uh, let's see here, let's throw some stairs in. Uh, we are going to keep this at a single story, I believe. Uh, I think that's going to be the best thing to do. Um, what can we do here? Do we want to put stone in? I don't think we're going to put stone. So what we'll do here is raise this ground up a little bit. Like so. I don't know. Maybe we put some stone in. Let's, let's do a stone fireplace. I think that would be the best thing. Stone always looks good in this game, so um, get jumping there. Let's um, let me see here. Let's go back in and flatten this out now. No need for that because these stone can now be placed appropriately, like so. And again, this is going to be a small fireplace, and so nothing, nothing extravagant. Um, but I do want it to have a nice little fireplace there. So I like that now. Um, let's go ahead and place our uh, support for the walls. Um, I always enjoy building um, using the core wood as the walls. I don't know what it is, it just looks so good. So that's exactly what we're gonna do to do here um if you get into an instance like i am right now uh, that's okay don't worry about that you can still place those in like that and what i'm going to do now is put in a nice window um nothing too crazy there uh, so what you can do in this instance is a few things we can either use these pieces which are the wooden shutters, or we can use the half wall pieces. So I want to get out here, take a look. I think the shutters might look fairly good. I haven't done that before, but I've always used the wooden pieces. So let's try something a little bit different and place those there, just like that. And now we're gonna come back in and place that. So simple wooden window. Um, and if you really are getting, you know, where you want to possibly make it look even better, we can take that and rotate. We can do it like that. Um, I don't know why I put this half wall in, right, or half beam in there. So, kind of gives it a little bit more character. Um, we're going to leave that open, I believe. And so let's continue. What we're going to do now is the same thing. We're going to put a nice little window in right here. And kind of follow that same pattern. Except for this time, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, we can actually use these beams right here. Um, I think that'll look really good. Although, what if we kind of match the same pattern? This is just me thinking out loud, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what we're going to do actually is match that same pattern using the shutters uh, on either side and then another layer of core wood on top of that. So let's throw those in really quick. 
and then from there, I like that, we'll throw in the core wood, the long, and the short. And same thing there. Now we're going to come back in to get that piece in the middle. Place one half piece horizontal and snap it in place, I think. Yeah, there we go. So that looks pretty good, I do think. We'll see how the roof goes uh, once we get to that point. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in our door here. We're going to have it swing open to that side. Um, let's go ahead and throw in our support there as well as here. And what I'm thinking we do is not fall off the stairs there. Um, let's throw in another window right here. Make it nice and open and airy. I, th I think that's going to be really nice. And we're going to do the same thing as we've been doing. So let's power through all that. Let's get the window done first. Rotate twice. And there we go. Now we're going to throw in our shutters. Oh, nope. Not the shutters yet. Look at me jumping ahead of myself. Throw in the core wood shutters like so and let's go ahead and uh, let's fly up here let's make it easy um throw in our little piece here again i do like to kind of cap off the door there um it always just to me looks much better same here, I'm going to cap that off a little bit, and then uh, we'll follow the same pattern, throwing this in, like so, and like so. So yeah, there we go. So that's kind of what the uh, idea of what we're kind of going for. You know, you can take these beams here, kind of cap those off as well. It does look pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and do that as well. I can get that in there. Yeah. Uh, for this little side, again, same pattern. Go ahead, since we're going to cap everything off like that. Uh, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Uh, oops, the hammer broke. So we'll just repair all that. Um, but what I was saying is, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I completely lost my train of thought there. Oh, well, it must have not been that important. Anyways, oh, capping it off, yeah. Uh, I think that's what we were discussing. So, there. I think that looks really, really good. Uh, so what we can do now is to kind of give this porch a little bit of a uh, nice little vibe here what we're going to do is put a slanted roof on uh, I do think a slanted roof will be nice looking so we're going to do that um, and we'll kind of go with that route so um, do I want it to overhang a little bit I do want it to overhang a little bit. So, overhanging, again, we're going to do that on both sides. Uh, which means that all of this right here will be covered as well. So, no biggie. Um, and I think we'll leave that open. So, let's kind of throw the roof on here. I'm thinking since this is kind of a starter home... We'll go ahead and throw the thatch roof in um, and kind of go from there. I think that's going to be our best bet. Yeah, I like that. I think. I think I like that. Let's take that off. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, so now what we can actually go in and do is... Um, 
so we don't overlap here into the house itself. What I'm going to do somehow is I don't know. We'll figure that out. Let's get the more uh, let's get more of the uh, the house going. So we're going to put a window here in the middle and kind of go from there. Maybe what we'll do actually let's get back down here on ground level to kind of get an idea of what I'm well I'm not gonna get on ground level. <laughs> I am all over the place today guys and I apologize for that. I uh, just got home from work. Uh, I do have a full-time job. Right now, the house is empty, so I'm going to take advantage of that while my wife and kids are away on spring break vacation um, and try to get some videos out for you. Um, so, uh, we'll leave one window in there, I do believe, and let's go ahead and throw that in there and that in there, like so. Go ahead and cap it off uh, to follow the same pattern. And like I said, a little window there, rotate it, and I'm gonna have to go there, like so, perfect. Put in our half pieces, and I think that, uh, ooh, how are we gonna do this? Um, one, two, we're gonna do it like that that's how we're gonna do it all right so continuing on so every time that I build I'm always doing speed build videos and so this is the actual process of me thinking things through uh, I was actually in one of size uh, live stream chats uh, a couple weeks ago and I was like you don't need a plan you don't need a plan sometimes guys you need a plan and uh, this may be one of those times but like I said we're gonna wing it uh, it's going up pretty quickly uh, so I'm pretty pleased with that and the roof may be a little bit of a struggle if that's okay um, so what I'm thinking back here we do is kind of the kitchen area. So we're going to need something like that for the stove. Uh, like so. Yeah. All right. So the stove is going to fit right there. So again, let's continue with this because I want it to be good looking. And, uh, we need to go up that high, I don't think, other than actually we do need to go that high there. All right, so we're going to continue with the same pattern. And I'm kind of liking this pattern, to be honest with you guys. Um, I've never done this before with the shutters, but I'm really starting to like it. So I might use this from now on uh, just to add a little bit of variation into the actual uh, style of the house so if any of y'all are trying to follow along let me give you I know this is a little bit too late but let me kind of give you a lay down of the actual foundation so we are four if you do just a, a big rectangle you're four by one two three four five six seven four by seven um, and then you have um, another section on the front of that uh, three um, two by two squares over. That is uh, one, two, three, and four by a uh, four by two. Um, so if you are following along, that is what the dimensions are on this build. So um, we are going to. Place that there. It looks like we're going to put a put a window in as well. Take that out. Can't have enough windows, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, 
took that out. I don't need that. And always make sure that you delete the um, the right part. <laughs> Can't stress that enough. So, all right, there we go. Same pattern for the windows and. Um, there we go. So it has been a while since I have built in Valheim. Uh, and I do apologize for that. Uh, I have been uh, introduced to a new game, um, which is Myth of Empires. I was actually contacted by uh, the uh, a marketing rep from the developer asking me to put out some videos for them and I jumped at the opportunity um, that is the first time that has ever happened uh, with me and so getting my channel noticed by um, another game developer is absolutely awesome um, it was really really cool and so I've been sucked into that game quite a bit lately, um, trying to do some content from them as well. And uh, obviously my Valheim content has uh, kind of lacked a little bit. I think it's been about three weeks or so since my last Valheim video, three to four weeks. So I do, though, plan to get back in to put in some more the Valheim content out there for you all because you do all enjoy the Valheim content and I quite frankly enjoy making it for you all so I do want to continue doing that okay so we got it we got all that done and we can move on to the actual uh, fireplace so I'm gonna go ahead put the hearth in um, because why not and Let's go ahead and make a chimney uh, for it. So we're going to use the stone. And what I've done is basically overlapped the stone into the actual uh, chimney there. And yes, it will breathe. The fire can breathe uh, by doing this. I've done this quite a few times. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll we'll make the interior. We'll make it we'll make it nice, um, and kind of go from there. So making fireplaces is fun. It is time consuming, but I do enjoy it. All right, so we're up there. Perfect. Um, what we are going to do is to continue the same pattern from the interior and uh, kind of close off that right there and then we'll make this all nice and dress that up i think that'll be that'll be really nice um, so as far as the roof is concerned because that's going to be the next big thing is the roof so i always like to overlap uh on the edges so that's the first thing we're going to do and then i'll build the chimney actually up into um through the roof so uh, so yeah you'll get to see that process of how I make it happen um, so what I'm seeing here on is actually we need to start the roof how are we going to do this let's think about this um, Go that way with that. That way with that. So now we're even on both sides. And that should give us five. It is going to be a little bit off, but that's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, now we're going to take the 45s and place them like so. Uh, we're going to use, let's use the smaller ones, kind of give it that barn style uh, roof edge right there. I do like that. And did I do this right? Oh, I did do this right. Okay. I messed up. <laughs> All right. I was wondering why it looked kind of goofy. Again, 
have plans filled with plans. So, um, so what I've noticed here is we've actually gone out this way. So it's actually a half. Like, so. How do I do this? How did I do this? Let's just do it this way. Thinking process, and then we'll get the overhang fit right. So, like that. That looks better. Now we can take all that out. Collect the wood. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of where we are at now. Um, what we'll do so we can just kind of cover up this roof is let's go ahead and throw in a couple of wood pieces there. Like so. And then we'll come back in with the 26 degree wall like that. And it'll be just fine because it appears as though that'll breach in just a little bit and it'll be okay. Um, and I'll show you how to cover that gap up as well. And that'll be no big deal. We're going to tie this overhang off into the roof so we'll do that and then what we can do from there is actually go in and throw in a half wall and it just closes off that edge like so perfect as far as this little piece is concerned um, we'll have to figure that out as well and that's no big deal so let's go ahead and place down our roof on the back so i like to um you can you can go ahead and like put in the soffit if you want to um i'm not going to and i'll show you what you can do instead of that so let's throw this on if you noticed why everything is blue, I do play with Valheim Plus. Uh, I've got a, a big group of people that I do play with. Um, some other content creators and just friends in general that we play. Uh, we have a modded server and it's just easier to keep those uh, that mod enabled um, to, to play. So um, we do enjoy playing our Valheim that is modded. Um, so, oops, look at there, getting ahead of myself again. Um, so yeah, this build is coming together quite nicely. Um, I do hope y'all are enjoying it. Uh, what we can do now to close up this gap is actually put in, um, uh, do, 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 do. Let's let's just throw in a piece like that, and we'll do that, like so. Um, and then, because this is overhanging a little bit, I know this is kind of getting getting a little crazy now, but just bear with me. This is only a temporary piece to go in. Like so. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is continue this right on up into this roof, like so. Okay. And then what we can do from there is let's just kind of repair the hammer first. All right, let's do this first. Perfect. Okay. We'll come back in and fill all that in later. So, like I said, we are going to um, plug those in there. We do have the roof in right there. And we will put that in right there. Because now what we can do is take these pieces, like so, and now it is built in. And what we'll do is we'll go in and support 
maybe put some columns right here at the front. It is, a, like I said, a small little house that I am enjoying actually building now. Because it has been a while since I have built in Valheim. So, let's go ahead and put in that piece there. And it's been a while. Also, I have not used these thatch pieces in a long, long time. And it's kind of good to get back using them. Um, so, I do like the look of the dark wood pieces. But the thatch, it just has that classic feel to it. So, there we go. We got a roof on it. Other than the very, very top. So, let's go ahead and place that on now. If I can snap it into the right place, we'll come back and delete that piece. Um, so yeah, there we go. And yeah, we'll get that snapped off. Like so. Perfect. Alright, so... Um, there we go. What we can do next is uh, throw in either that or we can go with that. I think we'll do that one for a railing. Perfect. Alright, so now what we're going to do is go in and close everything up. So, what I like to do again, um, like I was mentioning before with the soffits, is if we just close that up like so, then you don't have to worry about it. And we're going to do the same thing over here as well. Like that. And that's just perfect um, and we'll go ahead and close that in I don't necessarily like that look but with the way that I have built this it's okay uh, and it's not going to take away from the house itself so maybe we go in and we just throw in some support there and um, I like that it looks good Okay, perfect. So we got a kitchen. Uh, we'll have like a little eating area. Uh, we'll put the bed and all of that here. Maybe a, a workbench or something. We'll we'll, we'll kind of dress it up. Um, and and if you again are building this, uh, build it however you want. That's that's the, the joy in in building in Valheim is you can just about to build everything or anything that you want and that's okay um, it is a game and we are as content creators are just trying to inspire everybody that does play the game uh, we are just trying to inspire y'all to use your creativity in a very awesome way and that is my goal um, as a creator is to uh, inspire y'all to to use your creativity let it flow through the game and just really enjoy and have fun uh, i do this as a hobby uh with youtube and so um yeah i uh i, I just really enjoy this uh just putting videos out there for you all and uh just seeing what you all create. I get a lot of inspiration from all you guys out there and you know, it's, I really enjoy seeing everything that does get built. So y'all continue the great work out there. All right, there we go. So roof is almost done. Well, the roof is done. The uh, fireplace is almost done so what I'm going to do now on this fireplace is actually kind of going to make take it from uh, stone to wood and kind of shrink it up a little bit and uh, we'll throw a top on it um, I like the fireplaces to always extend above um, the actual roof line itself so that's exactly what we're going to do here and I think that may be the tallest point at which 
this will look. I know it's going to kind of look silly, but just bear with me. I'm not sure what happened there. Is that it? That's not it either. All right. So struggles number one is getting this piece to fit in properly. There we go. Got it. Excellent. Um, one thing that I do like to always do with the fireplaces is throw in some iron. Uh, but again, because this is more of a starter style home, we're going to leave that open. Uh, but just keep that in mind as you progress through the game. Iron, the, uh, not iron, but the, uh, yeah, it is the iron. These pieces here always look really, really good up here. So uh, do keep that in mind as you as you build. Uh, one thing that I always like to do as well is throw in some wood around the uh, top of the fireplace, kind of cap it off a little bit. I think it always looks good that way. So let's just throw some of that in. You can uh, kind of go down the side or you can go down the corners. Let's just go down the side again. And uh, place it in the right way. Get stuck. <laughs> and go from there. So, perfect. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice little fireplace there. Um, now let's go ahead and fill up this side here. And then we will uh, jump on into the interior. And I will show you how I decorate my interiors. It's nothing fancy, but it's just the way that I do it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, one thing that you could always do on this point is actually make another window. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Is make a little window and uh, kind of cap that off there. And we're again do that piece along with that piece there. So that kind of gives uh, a little bit of uh, extra feel to the side of the house. And um, speaking of side of the houses, let's kind of clean this up a little bit. Level that off. I do want to throw in some flowers and all that around this build because why not? Trees and flowers always make a build look a whole lot better. So, with this build, you also have plenty of land around it. You can always uh, add on, put in some furnaces, or, or not furnaces, well, furnaces and forges and all that. So, uh, let's go ahead, kind of clear off this area a little bit. And I'll go in and throw some trees in here in a minute. But first, let's go to the interior. I'm looking forward to the interior. And... Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and get our furniture. Um, I always like using the big bed in here. Um, kind of putting it on a corner. I think, like, so. We'll do that. But the fireplace, um, again, we can always dress that up. Make that look pretty good. I mean, it's simple. Um, if you really want to, you can actually kind of sink these pieces down into the edges like that around the stone. But I do like the way the stone looks. Um, there's many different ways that you can actually um, dress up the edge of the fireplace. So uh, one thing that I sometimes do is take these pieces and sink them down in there like so. And like that we can not fly no more all right so we got that let's get the kitchen going um another thing that i've seen and i think this was from unknown factions that's who it was from is taking this little pots and pans area and you can actually take it and sink it in like so um make sure that's going to give me the right height and you see how it just copies, or copies, covers up that little area right there. I think that was such a cool idea. 
So let's make some cabinets. Like that. And uh, we'll rotate that in. I thought that was a really, really cool idea. And so I took it. Um, another thing that we can do is... Um, do, do, do. We do need to throw in a fireplace. Um, but we can put the cauldron in. You can always throw the cauldron in um, over here in this fireplace as well. So that's what we'll do. And um, we can always, you know, if you want to upgrade it and all that, you can always add those in. So moving on, let's make some upper cabinets really quickly. And I like to use the upper cabinets for storage. Um, so I like to take just these right here. We'll throw them in like so. Uh, another thing I like to do is I'm going to close that off there. Is use the shutter pieces. Um, I think the shutter pieces look really, really well. Uh, really, really well. Really, really good. As far as cabinet doors. But one thing that I've noticed is if you have the shutter pieces next to one another like this um always open one door open the outside door not the inside door because what will happen is they overlap and you start to catch that one so just keep that in mind if you are going to uh build some shutters there if we really want to get fancy with it we can actually uh go in and make off uh the the top of it a little bit um uh, so we can uh kind of throw that in like so and kind of give it a little bit of a trim uh, it always looks pretty decent so yeah upper cabinets that's pretty much it for those and again all we're doing is de just decorating and uh, I really want to place those there but it won't let me oh well um, another thing we can put in will be the, uh, the butcher block and, and, uh, something that I've done in the past is I will place the butcher block down and then I will place things over the top of it. So you kind of get that knife sticking through and, um, then you can place some, uh, item stands on the top of it so you can put like some sausages or or meat on there and it looks like you're actually able to use the knife and chop it so a little quick tip there uh for anybody that is wanting to uh, figure out how i do that or any other creator because i did see that from someone else as well and again sharing ideas in the community is always good so throw a little storage in there and i think that looks pretty good for the kitchen um we do need some lighting in here and we'll get that done in just a minute let's go ahead and get a table uh since this is a small house we're just going to use the small table and we'll put that let's just put this kitchen table where should we put the table? Let's put the table about right there. And then we'll just get some chairs. Uh, again, there are better options for the chairs, but this is a starter home, and that's exactly what we're going to leave it at as a starter home. Um, another idea that you can do if you're looking to implement more storage into your builds is to put in a bookshelf. So... Uh, what I like to do, or storage shelf, however you want to call it, is um, take these pieces here, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to rotate this, if I can get this, yeah, it right, we can take that all the way up to the ceiling, like so. And this is always good, uh, storage, you, you can always... You can never have enough more uh, enough storage in Valheim, um, and if you're like me and a little bit OCD, you like to keep your stuff really organized. So um, 
I like to keep my stuff really organized. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to build a little storage area and um, and it seems that it's going to fit just nicely right here. So um, it's hard to see as you get a little bit higher up, but there you go. And now you got a little storage area and perfect. Um, a little bit more things you could do is we can throw in that. Uh, I always like a good Christmas tree in here just to add a little bit of light because why not? Do I have any wood on me? I don't have any wood. So uh, let's get a uh, let's get a chair in here. We need a few chairs and just to keep it around the fire or maybe we just do the Raven's chair. Um, I know that comes a little bit further down the line, but the Raven's chair. Remove the Christmas tree. Let's take the Christmas tree and put it over here by the bed. Or let's put it there. There we go. Now let's get this fire going really quick. So I like to just place a few pieces of wood. And then you can come over here and light your fire. So now we can kind of see how much lighting we got. And we look we got pretty good lighting um, we're going to use some torches uh, maybe one there we need some of here as well place that one there and maybe one right there and the last one we'll put uh, let's put it right over there perfect so now we got plenty of lighting uh, going on in here, and yeah, I like it. And last but not least, let's throw in maybe a uh, a item stand. We can craft us a let's just get a shield or something, some kind of decoration just to hang up. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We're starting out, so let's just get a a banded shield that is this color. I like this one. So we got that, and now we can come up here and place it. There we go. Just add a little bit of decoration, you know. Use your imagination. Decorate it however you want to. Um, you know, maybe we... Uh, you can throw some item stands up here and have some of your trophies from your awesome hunts you know something like that um so last but not least let's go to the outside really quick put um some lights on the outside of the house again the lights will not burn out because they are covered keep that in mind and there you go so um, guys, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stick around for some cinematics at the very end. I will uh, be doing some of the exterior landscaping and all that. Uh, but I do hope you all enjoyed this build. And if you did like this style of build, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, because this was actually pretty fun. You know, about 50 minutes to an hour, we got this thing built. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So. Thank you again, guys. Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on the journey to 1,000 subscribers, and we are very, 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 very close. So I do uh, appreciate every single one of y'all, and I hope y'all have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye-bye.